welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new episode for you here today. And one of the questions that me, and I'm sure many of you have been asking yourselves over the last three or maybe even four days, is what does the bowler actually do? I mean, what is the point of using it inside of the game? It's not really good inside of war, it's not good for trophy pushing, can it even farm? So what we're going to do for you right now, we're going to take this bowler out into the battlefield... And we're going to use a different amount of them just to see if we can actually farm using the bowler. Now remember, one thing about them is they're not cheap. 170 Dark Elixir. So we're going to be using 12 in this live attack very shortly. Meaning it costs over 2,000 Dark Elixir. And we're also going to be using some Golems. So this is a very Dark Elixir expensive raid. So we're going to have to find something with a lot of loot. So we're about to show you some attacks, then we're going to go in for a live one at the end of the episode. I mean, have you guys been using the bowler yet? As I said in a previous video, I think it should be available at Town Hall level 8. But obviously, Supercell has uh, made it available at Town Hall 10, which in my opinion was the wrong move. But let me know, what, what do you use the bowler for, if anything? So this is the most recent attack that we just done, and we were going up against the Town Hall 11 base. Now the Inferno Towers are both down, meaning I can do, hopefully, quite a bit of damage to this base using these bowlers. Now it's not the easiest base layout to take on, because I've only got Earthquake spells and a couple of Wall Breakers. I really did need a Jump spell. But currently we are using quite a few Giants inside of this raid. Two Golems, only six bowlers, the Heroes of course, two Rage spells, one Freeze and Earthquakes. And then we typically bring about, uh, about a dozen and a half sometimes two dozen wizards so we are going to try and make our way into the center of course we don't really care about getting the town hall well no i do want to get the town hall because there is loot inside of it but i'm not really after trophies or stars so i don't mind if we lose the attack as long as we can get some loot and quite a bit of loot at that so we're going to be dropping down the rage spell right in front and we are going to drop that free spell on the uh the eagle artillery there just in case that bloody pigeon does a lot of damage to some of my giants and my golems so, the bowlers. Let, let's take a look at these bowlers. So, they're at the back of the pack now. Going to use the Grand Warden's Aura just to make sure that Big Bomb didn't kill them. And, of course, the Harry Potter. So, they do a lot of splash damage. And, I'm not going to lie, they're awesome when they're under rage. So, they look pretty cool. They also do do a little bit of damage. But, they, they, the hit points on them just isn't enough. I'm afraid to say it just isn't enough. They lose their health so damn quickly. And, as soon as they're out of the rage spell, they're so slow. They're so fat. They need to go on a diet. Supercell, please thin out the troop or make it a little bit faster because in all honesty the bowler i can i can sum it up for you right now guys it's too fat therefore it's too slow it doesn't have enough hit points therefore it dies too quick it doesn't do enough attack damage therefore it just sucks it just really does suck and it should be available at town 8 as i've said previously but unfortunately it's only available at town 10 I, I wish it was available at town 8 because I want my clan mates to use it more. Obviously, loads of them don't have it. I want them to start using it just to use it in war and have some fun with it. Because it honestly is one of the more boring troops. So let's check out another attack, guys. Going to be going for a different sort of base this time. Now remember, we're only inside of the Masters League. Yesterday, I dropped about a 1,000 trophies. I wanted to just come down here, have a bit of fun with the game. Because I've been up in the Champions League now for about half a year. I've been inside of the Champions for so long. And to be honest with you, I've only been farming up there. And the loot isn't... It's, it's great. It is great. But you do need to use expensive armies. And right now, the, although this army is expensive, I'm just kind of experimenting with the bowlers. I don't usually farm with this army, guys. Trust me. I usually farm with, like, giants and wizards. And I get quite a lot of loot for the army that I use. So, yeah, right now we are just kind of experimenting with these bowlers. So we're going to be dropping in the golems, the giants of course, just sending the tanks. Go in with the Harry Potters right at the back, sending the king, the queen, the grand warden. And then we're going to send in the bowlers. Now the beautiful thing about this raid is that the bowlers are all going to funnel straight into the center there. I'm not sure if that big bomb done a lot of damage to my troops, hopefully it didn't. But look at that free spell guys, right on the inferno tower, the eagle artillery and of course those giants. Now we don't have any more grand wardens aura, so if any more big bombs go off, we're kind of screwed at this point. So we're going to be using the King's Ability just there. Another big bomb goes off, just misses the Wizards and the Bowlers. But check it, once again, they're all under Rage. And they are beasts! They're absolute OP under Rage. But as soon as the Rage spell fades away, once again, slow, fat, and just pointless. Just useless. Really don't have a use for them. And remember, they're not even cheap, and they, they take up a lot of troop spaces. They're just like the Valkyries, and a Valkyrie is so much better than a bloody bowler. Remember, a Valkyrie also does splash damage, and she can take out four buildings at once, whereas the bowler can only take out two. 
maybe three if he gets lucky and there's a builder's hut there. But yeah, the bowler, nothing compared to the Valkyrie. Valkyrie is so much better. So we're going to just go for the two star here. Not because I'm going for trophies, but just quite simply because the higher percent, the bigger loot bonus you get. So let's go for quad speed now, guys. And we're about to make our way into a live attack. We're going to see if we can find some decent loot up here in the Masters League. And I want to see this time if we can use 12 bowlers instead of using six. So check this out, guys. We are going to be using... 12 bowlers, so let's go in and gem the army, I believe. Hold on a second. Is it going to cost loads and loads of gems? You know what? We're not going to do the live attack just yet. We're going to do it in a moment's time. Let's show you another replay using the bowler farming strategy. So here we go. Let's check this one out. This base is a little bit different, really quite different, actually. It's kind of like a rush base, but it's all over the place. And with these bases, I find it a little bit harder to attack because I don't really know where to attack from. It's got holes all over it. I mean, why? Why is there random holes all over this space? But what we're going to do, we just got, we've got eight giants, so I'm going to drop down the giants. At the end of the day, as I said, I am farming. I don't really care too much for the victory, although I do want a loot bonus. So we're going to drop down the eight giants down there and send in five or six wizards just to make sure we can get both of those elixir drills, dark elixir drills, and those gold storages. And of course, get maybe 10, 15% damage to the base as well. We're going to be able to take out those Larrys, take out the expo, the two air defenses, two gold storages, and of course, that dark elixir. So now we're ready to go in deep over here, guys. We're going to send in the two golems. And once again, the bowlers are actually going to funnel into the base, which is great. Because the one thing about the bowlers, if you haven't used them yet, is that they go for a very wide spread. They go all over the place. And using a strategy like the bowler walk is extremely hard because the bowlers don't stay together, which is what you want them to do, really. You do want them to stay together because they're going to do more damage if they stay in, like, a pack. Like, they're meant to hunt like wolves. They're not meant to be tigers. They're not meant to go on their own. But for some reason, they think they're better on their own. And they just completely suck. And they just die. Look at that, guys. No rage spell. Slow as hell. Sloppy as hell. Fat as hell. And they're just going to fade away once again. Look, a Tesla rips a bowler into pieces. The Inferno Tower destroyed that one there. The Queen's gone down the left-hand side. We did get a decent amount of loot from this base. I think we got something like half a million gold. Or somewhere close to that. So not bad. Plus, we got the loot bonus as well, guys. Yeah, so it was a great raid for farming, but we could do it easily without the bowlers, and it would cost so much cheaper. So here we go. As promised, we are going to make our way into a live attack this time, and we are going to be using 12 bowlers. So let's see, let's see, let's see. 17 gems. Let's just gem all of that, guys. So there we go. The army should be ready. We need to gem the heroes as well. Damn. I hate spending all these gems on just pointless things. There we go, guys. Okay, so we've got the army ready. I'm going to show you the army right now. Let me just collect all of these resources. Trying to max out this base. By the way, we have just maxed out our final level 13 cannon. So we have all seven cannons at level 13. So this is the army. Six wall breakers, 17 wizards, two of those little minions, two golems, and 12 of those brand new ballers. Maxed out, of course. So let's see if we can find a single target Inferno Tower. Ooh, there's not really any loot inside of there, though. We'll be back, guys, when we find a decent loot base. Okay, so here we go, guys. We've just landed on this Town Hall 10. Now, it's not the best loot, I'm not going to lie, but it's decent. It's okay. There's about, about what, 400,000 gold inside of here. And, of course, access to the Town Hall isn't the hardest, so it should be okay, I'm guessing, to get at least... I'm hoping we can get at least three of these four gold storages and take down the Town Hall and the Clan Castle just to make sure we can get some of the loot. So what we're going to do... We have uh, already broken down the, the walls there using the Earthquake spells. Now, of course, we do have six wall breakers. So we're going to drop in the golems. We're going to drop in the wizards just to clear out those buildings. Queen, Grand Warden, King. And now we're going to send in two little batches. And then the bowlers are all going to bop in straight at the back there. Go in with the rest of the Harry Potters. Drop in the first raid spell. Now, hopefully, this king doesn't go in towards that Inferno Tower. I do not want the king to die from that multi-target Inferno Tower. We're going to use a Grand Warden's ability. Not sure if there are any big bombs there. So we're going to hold back. Oh, just use the king's ability in time. Going to hold back this free spell right for that. There we go. Going to drop the freeze on everything there. Wow. Wow. Those bowlers, guys. Those bowlers have destroyed the core of the base. This, this is the best attack so far. Can they take out the Inferno Tower? No. See what I mean? They just died. Loads of them just got rinsed by the Inferno Tower because they just didn't take it out. They need more attack or more hit points. Supercell seriously needs to, like, send these troops in a different direction. Try and buff them a little bit. Just give them a little bit more strength. So we're going to use the Queen's ability because she is going down. Although we didn't do the greatest inside of this raid, it was kind of like 
the best one I've seen so far. Obviously, going up against a single target Inferno Tower is a lot, lot easier than going up against multi-target Infernos. In all honesty, though, guys, I wouldn't really say bowlers are good for anything. I would say they suck at- they definitely suck inside of war. Do not use the bowlers inside of war unless it's like a specific base which maybe two or three bowlers can like take out an Eagle Artillery or an Inferno Tower using their uh, their Splash Bounce, then yeah, I would say that's okay. But if it's not like that and you're just using them because you kind of think that they're going to do good, do not use the bowlers. Do not use them in trophy pushing. You can get a two-star with using all bowlers, but it really just isn't worth it. They cost too much Dark Elixir and too much housing space, guys. And yeah, for farming, not the greatest either. So there we go. I would say my conclusion on the bowler Completely useless, should be available at Sand Hall Level 8. Let me know what your thoughts are about this brand new troop in that comment section, guys. What have you been using it for, if anything? I mean, I maxed it out, but it was just completely useless, guys. So there it is. That is the end of the episode. Can we smash triple likes down below? Don't forget to stay tuned to the channel. There will be a second episode coming out in a few hours' time. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Subscribe to this channel right now, guys, for two COC videos every single day. I will see you very shortly. Have a great day. Peace out. Bye.